Hi there, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to understand search impression share within your competitive metrics within Google Ads. Now, the reason why it's important to understand search impression share, it's essentially equivalent to where you rank within the ads that show up in Google, but also how often you show up within a Google Ads auction when someone searches on a particular search term. So let me tell you over the screen and show you exactly how that works. And here we are right now inside one of my client accounts, which I'll use as an example today, and we'll use their branded campaign as the main example. And I've just filtered down to the current campaigns that are running on their account. First things first, we need to get the column set up so we can see these metrics either at the campaign level, ad group level, or the keyword level. It's completely up to you to know what's important for what metrics you wanna be following at each different level. For today's example, I'm gonna stay at the campaign level across all the search campaigns, and we're just sticking to search. So let's come to the columns area here under campaigns. And usually you would select modify columns. I've already set my custom columns up in the past. So I'm just going to edit my current columns. Now we have a couple of options here. It says custom columns, but we want to come to all columns. So select the drop down, scroll down to under here. It says competitive metrics. Click the drop down on competitive metrics. From here, we can see all the different columns that we can be selecting for whatever metrics are important to us. The great thing about Google is that anytime you hover over one of these metrics, you can see here it has a little bit more information on what each one means. But for now, I'm just going to select all the columns that are going to be important to us, and I'll explain each one to you as we go. And over to the right, you can always adjust where you want these columns to align in order. Usually I start with search impression share, then search impression share top, then search absolute top impression share, and then I carry on down with rank, and then budget. And for good measure, I've thrown in exact match and also click share, which I'll explain more later. From here, I'll just save and apply. Yes, I will replace them. Okay, and as you can see, here's all the columns all lined up now. Now this is a bit extreme having all these columns. You may or may not want to add all these in depending on what's important to you, like I mentioned before. But let me start working through each one now so you get a better understanding with how each one works. Now when we hover over each one of these columns at the top here, has a little information bubble that pops up as well so you can read more about it and also you can select learn more. Google does provide a lot more information on what each one means. But for now, search impression share means how often you've shown up in an auction divided by how many times you could have shown up in a particular option. Whether you showed up, it depends on many different things. Now the eligibility is based on many different things like your targeting settings, approval status bids, and your quality. And this impression share is updated daily. So it's not something you keep refreshing all day long to be able to get those metrics. Then next is search top impression share. This means each time your ad does show up, how often does it show up in the top of the page? And this is all measured in a percentage, by the way, each one of these columns. Once upon a time, we used to have ad rank, where you would rank one, two, three, or four. But Google started changing the user experience where you would only get one, two, four positions available in any given auction because it would only be an average. Because if you were seeing average 2.3, you, you would be thinking to yourself, why am I not coming up in position one all the time? So I can understand why back in the day they decided to switch this to be more of a percentage in the actual top of page. And that moves us on to search absolute top impression share. So this is a percentage on how often you not just only show at the top area, but the absolute top. We can call that the new position one, essentially. You can see here on this branded campaign, we've been showing up 86% at the absolute top. And that's something you will want to expect when it comes to a branded campaign. And you wanna see a high percentage for search top as well as you would at least wanna be coming up for close to 90% for search impression share for your brand. Ideally 100%. Now Google may have some reasons why we're not showing up all the time. And again, although we may not be showing up 100%, it could be depending on top of the bidding or the targeting or the quality in that particular auction. But the other thing to consider when it comes to branded campaigns, just a little side note that you've got other people who may be bidding against your brand name. But those sort of competitive metrics I will cover in a different video. Let's carry on. Now, similarly, moving to search lost impression share due to rank. Now, this estimates how much your ads were not shown because of poor ad rank. Now, what determines poor ad rank and your position related to that? Now, it's all calculated around your bids, your ads, and your website quality, the context of the search, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's many reasons for ad rank and how that affects your search campaigns. I'll cover that off in another video in the future. Search lost impression share due to rank. Same with search lost top impression share. How often you lost missing out in the top because of your ad rank. And again, with search lost absolute top impression share. Bloody mouthful. Due to rank. 
Yeah. So that means how often you didn't show at the absolute top position one because you had crappy ad rank. And then with search lost impression share due to budget, again, this is similar to rank, but only this time it's all due to how little you were bidding per day in order to be able to see your ad shown. Essentially, your budget was running out on a daily basis at some point. You'd, if you looked at this on a daily basis, you would see these graphs here show that your ads would be running and then your budget drops and everything goes to zero for the rest of the day. Now for search exact match impression share, this is how often you showed up for the exact match of the keyword you're bidding on. So if you had an exact match keyword and you were coming up 100% of the time for an, that exact match term, that means you were coming up 100% of the time. But you could be bidding for a phrase match instead of an exact match. And it'll show you how often that you would show up for that exact match within those auctions. And again, with broad match. But usually with the different types of match types, starting with exact, you would your impressions would show a lot higher. Then come down to phrase match, you'd show less often and then naturally less often for broad. Then lastly, click share is the clicks that you would have received on, on the search network only divided by the estimated maximum number of clicks you could have received in any given auction. So think of it like this, you've got, you're coming up at the top of the page and you've got two or three ads that are sitting up there. How often do you actually receive a click at that top estimated against all the other competitors in those positions? But again, Google also goes on to say that it depends on other different factors like, like targeting settings, budgets, approval, status, bids, the quality of your ad, et cetera, et cetera. So just doing a quick recap, search impression share and how that affects everything. Search impression share lost due to rank. You can see here that how often we lost due to like the quality of our ads and then search impression share lost due to our budget. You can see that's zero. That's great. How often we've been showing up exact match for these particular terms, like 94% of the time, which is great. And then how often we could have received a click on our ads. And that's it for understanding search impression share within your competitive metrics within a search campaign in Google Ads. I hope you got something out of this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.